Hi there, and let's get to it. I'd like to digress for a second and take a look at the differences between DaVinci Resolve 12 and DaVinci Resolve 12 Studio. As you probably know, one is the free version of the software offered by Blackmagic on their website, while the other is considered the full version with the accommodating industry price tag. I've heard several students having conversations about the differences between the two and even getting into arguments about the superior quality of one over the other. Some people have complained about not receiving the full experience or getting something that's substantially inferior. The differences between the versions are available to anyone who visits the blackmagicdesign.com website and clicks on the word compare. There are literally hundreds of functions listed, and as you can tell from a preliminary view, there's not really that many substantial differences. I've scoured the website for a few hours, and I have created a handy summary that breaks down the differences into four categories. The first is that the free version of DaVinci Resolve 12 does not give you any noise reduction or motion blur effect controls. This panel, within the non-studio version of DaVinci Resolve 12, will appear grayed out. This effect allows you to reduce the noise in your footage based on a spatial or temporal analysis, and also to include artificial motion blur based on the movement of a camera. The second big difference is that there's no support for stereoscopic 3D workflows. Again, the 3D panel will appear inactive to people who have the free version of DaVinci Resolve, but should not really be felt by anyone who is not working with stereoscopic footage or does not own a stereoscopic camera. So, kind of everyone. The next block of nose comes for the DaVinci Resolve control surface. So this is a separate piece of hardware that you can get for DaVinci Resolve that will allow you to perform your color grades using a piece of machinery right in front of you rather than a keyboard and a mouse. A quick Google search tells me that if you can't afford a paid version of DaVinci Resolve 12, you probably don't have a DaVinci Resolve control panel at home. So let's not worry about that one either. The last major difference has to do with true 4K output. You'll notice that whenever the subject of resolutions and video formats comes up, you will see the words UHD limit under DaVinci Resolve. This means that you will not be able to generate proxies, monitor, or output any true 4K footage. So true 4K in this case refers to a resolution that is 4096 by 2160. UHD limit means that you can still export something that's 4K, but it will have a ratio of 16 by 9. The next video will be all about the differences between 4K and 4K UHD, but the bottom line is that the two are not really that different. They're both classified as 4K, and if you have a standard commercial screen, whether it's your computer monitor or your television at home, it's most likely 16 by 9. Native 4K is of most interest to people whose work is going to be projected in a cinema screen. There are a number of much smaller differences that are either really specific to advanced workflows or generally pretty negligible. For example, there are certain file systems that are not supported. Your system scalability will be limited to just one GPU, uh, two if you're using a 2014 MacBook Pro. And perhaps on a bigger scale, uh, collaborative workflows are not supported. In conclusion, the free version of DaVinci Resolve 12 is an incredibly powerful program. It supports virtually all raw footage workflows and gives virtually no restrictions on editing and grading tools. For those of you who are missing the noise reduction and motion blur tools, uh, as well as for those who do wish to work on and export native 4K footage, can I recommend that you do proceed with the free version on your own workstations and when you're able to export the final project, simply rent out a post-production studio and apply those changes and exports on the last day of the project. That way, you'll be completely unrestricted to the tools that you can use, but at a fraction of the cost. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.